we haven't been able to get basic insulin and diabetic treatments in to Tigray since last summer. Insulin is almost stocked out. The oral anti-diabetic drugs are almost unavailable. They're running out of IV fluids, which has catastrophic, immediate health consequences for people. There are people living in a situation who have no access to the very basic life-saving interventions that we in the West would expect immediately, instantly. This is an insult to our humanity to allow a situation like this to continue. Lack of medicine has direct impact and people are dying. But lack of food also kills. And on top of that, daily drone attacks is killing people and people are living under constant fear. We have been trying from WHO side, trying to have access to send drugs to Tigray and the other affected areas by the conflict. We were permitted to send medicines to Afar region and Amhara region while we were not allowed to send to Tigray region. So there is a blatant measure which has been taken that's blockade, and since especially July, no medication was allowed from WHO, none whatsoever. Nowhere in the world you would find a crisis like what you see in the northern part of Ethiopia, especially in Tigray. Nowhere in the world are we witnessing hell like in Tigray. Even in Syria, we have access during the worst of conflicts in Syria. In Yemen, the same, we have access. Humanitarian access, even in conflict, is the basis, the basics. Conflict cannot be an excuse. This thing should be resolved politically, peacefully. And the most courageous choose peace.